Numerous innovations were produced throughout the Middle Ages. The majority of the significant innovations during the medieval time had some connection to warfare, as the time was marked by warfare in many parts of Europe. Key inventions during the medieval period included the printing press, gunpowder, stirrups, astrolabe, spectacles, spinning wheel, and tidal mills. Similar to the post-classical era in world history, the European medieval period generally lasted the late 5th to the late 15th century. This historical period spanned from 476 CE, when the Western Roman Empire collapsed, until 1453 CE, when Constantinople fell. The Age of Discovery and the Renaissance came after it. The three traditional divisions of Western history, classical antiquity, medieval, and modern, falls into this era in the middle. The early, high, and late medieval periods comprise the division of the medieval era. An important invention of the Middle Ages, the astrolabe allowed astronomers and navigators to better understand how celestial bodies move. The sun and other stars' exact locations in the sky may be determined with accuracy with the astrolabe. In the 12th century, Moorish Spain produced the first astrolabes. From Spain, the astrolabe made its way across Europe and finally rose to prominence as one of the most significant astronomical tools. The astrolabe is recognized as one of the most significant scientific innovations of the Middle Ages due to the significance of astronomy in many other fields. One tool that helps in locating the Earth's cardinal points, north, south, east, and west, is a compass. Mariners, navigators, diviners, and religious leaders have depended on their ability to anticipate these directions since antiquity. The earliest examples of the modern compass as we know it were made in medieval Europe, despite the fact that certain crude versions of compass existed in China and perhaps Mesoamerica before the medieval period. The compass was created in medieval Europe as a means of assisting navigators, sailors, and traders in safely navigating the Mediterranean waters. For those who were nearsighted or farsighted, there was almost no treatment available until the late 13th century. As an adult, it was really expected that one would have impaired vision, and as there was no treatment for the condition, the affected person had to give up reading and other activities requiring a lot of light. It was not until the latter decade of the 13th century that the first spectacles were made. By the end of the Middle Ages, Eyeglasses were more widely available and user-friendly thanks to models that replaced the more archaic originals that needed to be manually adjusted to stay in place. Gunpowder is the most significant military invention of the Middle Ages. Gunpowder's arrival to Europe drastically changed the nature of warfare and had a big impact on late medieval Europe's social and political landscape. The introduction of gunpowder contributed to Europe's transition from the Middle Ages to the Renaissance in several ways. Fighting in the medieval period was much the same as battle in the antique period before the invention of gunpowder. Despite significant advancements in armor and weaponry, troops were still required to engage in close quarters combat, use a variety of weapons, and protect themselves with armor. All of this altered when gunpowder was discovered. Due to battles with the Mongols, gunpowder was developed in China as early as the 9th century, but it wasn't until the 13th century that it was widely employed in Europe. By the 14th century, European armies started using gunpowder weapons, and by the 15th century, they had essentially replaced the majority of conventional armament. An important medieval invention from the 9th century was tidal mills. 
They were driven by the high tides in the water body and were frequently utilized close to rivers and other natural water sources. These kinds of mills were widely utilized in rural areas to perform different mechanical tasks, and the water wheel was driven by the water's inherent force. These first uses of mechanical energy can be seen as precursors to the way electricity is used now. A kind of frame called stirrups is used to securely support a horse rider's feet. The stirrup effectively allows a rider to carry a weapon or mount and dismount successfully because it allows him to maintain both of his feet inside the flexible frame. Around the 7th century, stirrups initially emerged in Eastern Europe and swiftly extended to Western Europe. It is thought that stirrups had a significant role in the evolution of medieval military warfare. They probably undermined or lessened the significance of infantry divisions by elevating cavalry to the top of the typical medieval army's hierarchy. With the stirrups, cavalry riders could fight on the go, handle weapons, and even discharge arrows from their horse without worrying about falling off. Although it was invented before the Middle Ages, the spinning wheel was not widely used in Europe until that time. The spinning wheel was far more efficient than earlier spinning methods used in Europe, enabling a spinner to spin more thread in less time. This allowed a growing number of people in medieval Europe to wear garments made of strands of yarn. Early medieval times made use of a wide range of timekeeping technologies. Throughout the early Middle Ages, there was little to no innovation in timekeeping devices. Nearly all of these items were borrowed from ancient antiquity. During that era, typical timekeeping technology included sundials, astrolabes for determining time, water clocks, and candle clocks. New methods and instruments for keeping track of time were developed during the High Middle Ages. During this time, Christian monks with astronomical backgrounds created the first mechanical clocks. The world's first movable type printing technique for paper books was developed by Bai Shen, 990 to 1051, in China during the Northern Song Dynasty in CE 1040. The first printed paper money with a movable metal type to print the money's identification number was created in 1161 during the Song Dynasty. A Song Dynasty book from 1193 described the use of metal movable type. The first book ever printed using movable metal type, Jokai, was created in Korea in 1377 during the Goryeo Dynasty. Both movable type systems' expansion was mostly confined to East Asia. The house had been empty for several years and had been gradually falling apart. The sporadic stories of movable type technology that returning missionaries and businessmen from China carried back to Europe may have had an impact on the European printing press's development. Among many other places, the library archives of Oxford University and the Vatican still hold some of these ancient European tales. When German inventor Johannes Gutenberg invented his own printing press in the 15th century, the modern printing press was born. By utilizing the widely used printing mechanism, he created new tools and processes to expedite and automate the printing process. Before the invention of the printing press, books had to be produced by hand, which required a lot of effort and prolonged production times, hence limiting book consumption to the affluent and powerful. One of the key technologies that made the European Renaissance possible was the Gutenberg Press, which served as a model for less expensive printing presses that were built all around Europe. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more exciting content from Junior Library's YD Classroom.